Hello everyone, in this video we will be looking at a reasonably priced 4K monitor, the AOC U2790PQU. AOC has been known in the past to make some decent monitors with enticing price tags. Let's see how this one fares. Okay, let's start with the unboxing. The packaging is standard cardboard box with styrofoam inside. We have a reasonable list of cables included with a DisplayPort cable, USB cable for the hub, audio cable and power cord. There is also a warranty booklet and a driver disc. I appreciate them including a driver disc but I doubt anyone will use that. In this day and age we should be reducing the use of unnecessary plastic. Moving on. There is also a calibration data sheet that states the sRGB color temperature measurement and the luminescence uniformity test results. Next the assembly. First the base which is nicely weighted and there is an abundance of rubber padding uh, the benefit of which we shall see shortly. The vertical bar screws in securely forming one rigid structure. Next, the monitor snaps into position and that concludes the assembly. Now the range of motions. It is comprehensive and in my case was a major part in consideration for purchase. The monitor tilts, height adjusts, rotates and can be set as portrait mode as well. When we rotate the monitor, the motion is smooth and stops confidently. All that rubber surface at the base does a good job. With regards to connectivity at the back we have two HDMI ports. One is HDMI 1.4 and the other is HDMI 2.0. The display port is 1.2, there's a audio in and two different USB ins and outs. There is also provision for Kensington lock for security and the speaker guilds are also at the back. And finally, on the other side, there is a 4-way control knob which is a very popular way to control display system menus these days for a good reason. They are super easy and meaningful to use. The monitor as a whole presents itself as someone dressed in smart casual attire, formal, sober, yet casual for any occasion. As far as looks go, AOC is no stranger to making some striking display systems, if not trendsetting often. Be it for office or home use, this look will not age in a hurry. Now, one thing that I need to point out is, while the looks suggests a bezel-less monitor, it is not frameless, meaning there is a black frame around the display, a slim one be it, it's not edge-to-edge -edge display. Before we move on to picture quality, let me touch upon the sound. There are built-in speakers. Let us just consider them present and loud enough to be audible. They will do the job of ringing out the office notifications and uh, you can listen to news or a book. For music, the speakers are just too basic. When we saw the calibration chart earlier, that was the hint that the monitor is serious about its job. As soon as I turned the power on, the image appears on the screen and it was apparent that this is a good quality panel. I did a series of tests using the usual tools provided by legom.nl, credit to them for making easily accessible tool for all to use. My findings are that straight out of the box, without tweaking, the colors and in general luminosity is well tuned, no adjustments needed there. Then comes the refresh rate and latency. This is where the IPS panel falls behind by one one hundredth of a second. This is not unexpected from an IPS panel and AOC is not advertising this monitor to be fast gaming display. I'll talk about gaming in a moment. Where the panel comes in to its strength is viewing angle. For comparison, we have a Samsung U28E590 monitor next to it and it really really struggles to keep up and that happens in any given angle. The vertical viewing angle is also awesome which translates to the monitor being equally good in portrait mode. For desktop publishing, editing, designing, this monitor is very well suited. 
One thing about this being an IPS panel is that it is able to create black or darkness rather well. Light bleed is well under control here. Now about gaming. To start us off, please allow me to say that this monitor is not purpose built for gaming. It does not have ultra low latencies nor does it have ultra high gamma settings like we saw in the BenQ gaming monitor. There is no NVIDIA G-Sync or AMD FreeSync. The refresh rate is very standard 60Hz. Yet, if you feel like playing games in this monitor, you can absolutely do so. In fact, this being an IPS panel, we have brilliant vibrant color to create the popping images and scenes that a whole lot of games are famous for. End of the day, what we have in our hands is a simple straightforward monitor with no fancy bells or whistles. Functionality it has basic needs covered. Having said that, this is a monitor that puts a lot of effort into making a high quality picture. The majority of our purchase money goes into the display panel and indeed AOC has made it count. I love the panel. With a modern design, a versatile stand and a 3 year warranty, the U2790PQU will be a very reasonable proposition for a wide range of customers. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. Side note, I have a second channel, it's called the Property Technical. If you aspire to become a developer or simply want to buy a good house to live in, the tips and tricks I share will help you get a better deal. I hope to see you in the next video, until then, you take care of yourself.